Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. Now in this episode what I'd like to do is to do the brewing and the elixirs from Rustic because I'll show you straight away why they, they're pretty good. So let's have a look at those. In this diamond chest here I've got some which I've already made. So here I've got a quantity of iron wine of quality of one. And this has got some 0.99. Let's just drink one of these 0.99s and see what happens. And you'll see straight away I get an extra five levels of toughness. And those toughness last forever. They don't they too, they don't disappear until you get of course you get take damage, then they disappear. But other than that, they stay there. No time limit on those. And nearly all of these brews in here will give you some positive effects. But there is one but about this. They have to be above 0.5. Now you'll see here with wine, I started with wine at a very low quality of 0 0.09. So I'll show you how to do that first. So let's take some grapes. Get the bottle out of the way. In fact, I probably need two bottles. We'll take a second bottle, which aren't in there, but I might have to find those. Maybe in this chart. Nope, they're not in that jug. Uh, so wine I have got in the one with grapes on, of course. This is the wine one. So I've got nothing in at the moment. Let's just crush these four grapes and put them into a bottle first of all. I've already got something in here. What have I got in here? Let's just take out what we've got in here. Ah, let's just take out what we've got in Oh, they're, they're, they're the other bottles. I'll see them now. Nope, nope. Doesn't take it out. <laughs> I obviously don't have enough. So what was in here? I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was apple juice or something like that. Let's just try getting some apples out. I think it was apple juice. If it is, I'll put one in and then we can jump on it. So if it was apple juice and there was one in there, I should be able to take one bu bucket out. <laughs> no, oh, don't ask me what I've done wrong here. Let's take some more apples. Let's take another, let's take three of these and just put them in here. I'm presuming, I'm guessing when I do this, that I can actually take these out of here. <laughs> No, I can't. Tell you what we'll do. And I hope this works. There's something I haven't tried. Let's take a pipette from um, Forestry and see if we can get it out of there. I think if we can, we just simply click it and there, that's it. Yeah, good. So what do we get? 250 millibuckets of apple juice. I was almost right, but not quite. So we needed two, two more. So we could put two more apples in there. So let's put in these grapes in. There's four grapes we've just put in and jump on those. You have to jump four times and then you'll get a bottle's worth of grape juice and that does actually empty it out so what I can now do is I can put down the apple juice back in here again I think I can do this nope I can't tell you what I've got some apple juice in one of these barrels this one probably there we go so I could empty it out so I don't need the pipette anymore I'm glad the pipette works on that one so here we've got this bottle of grape juice so what I do is you put this into here like that and it's going to start brewing and there's one bucket's worth in here and you're going to get a quality a quantity no a quality of point zero point five to point seven five i think out of it and anything below point five you don't drink you throw it away and i'll show you what in a minute so before we actually i'll show you why at the end of the episode so you start off with these so like here for example with that iron wine i started I was lucky i got point seven two to start with mead was very low i got point two seven cider was even worse so it's 0 0.05 that's the lowest you can get actually and then bottle of wine was pretty rotten as well and but the bottle of wine produce is quite actually quite useful and we'll come to that in a minute we can actually let's take this one now and i'll show you what you do with this for the next level of that let's take half of those because we've got four we've got seven let's put those down there and we should get another bottle of i forget i've got to jump on it of course like that we can take a bottle of wild bridge juice and we can put this into the wildberry brewing thing now here i've already got some 0.59 quality of wine and here i've got 0.6 so what you do is you take this out of here like that and you put into this the 0.6 which is higher quality than the one we just taken out and then we take the wild juice here and we push that into this and then when it's finished it'll come out here and it takes about 10 minutes for this to process so while that's processing, we'll have a look at the book and have a look at what these things do for you. Because that's quite 
it's quite impressive actually. It's all to do with the production and it's all to do with brewing. Alcoholic beverages, we'll start with that one I think. Okay, so here we t it's talking about the how the brews work. So, all booze has a, qual a quality of between 0 and 1. Drinking booze with a quality of less than 0.5 will have a of at least 0.5 will have a positive effect, while drinking um, booze with a quality below 0.5 will have a negative effect. So the strength and duration of the so sort of effects is relative to the quality of the booze. The strength and duration increases the quality approaches 0 or 1. I don't think I don't know how you actually get a quality of zero. It always seems to go up. If you acquire a booze with a quality of below 0.5, it's best to simply dispose of it. For convenience, simply placing a bottle up of booze in the crafting table will, will empty the bottle, so we can get rid of some of that stuff. Huh? Regardless of the quality of the, your drink, there is always a chance of alcoholic beverages inebriating you. Inebriation is a debuff, but it will it cannot be cured with milk. Continue to to drink while inebriated can increase the duration and severity of the effect and all inebriated debuffs of level 1 or 2 will do nothing. At least level 3 the debuff will continuously inflict slowness and blindness on blindness eye on its victim. I think blindness on its victim as well. At least level 4 where it inflicts slowness, blindness and nausea too. So it's horrible basically. Ale is a very saturated drink and it gives a full stomach effect which decreases damage taken from starvation. Ale is brewed with ale wort, which can be made by combining water bucket bread and sugar in a crafting table. So let's have a look at that one first. So I've got the ingredients here prepared. Bread, sugar and water and that produces this ale wort. And all you have to do is take, let's go to this crafting table here. Oh, fancy workbench it is. So let's just put these into here. It doesn't matter where you put them actually, anything will do. So you can just put, I said, does W work on this one? No, it doesn't. So it's shapeless crafting. So we get a, bit, a bucket of ale wort. Now with ale wort, we've put it into the, here. Now what have we got here? Quality 0.31. And now we've got a quality 0.32. Both are rubbish. Let's get rid of both of those two and start again. Actually, I'll keep the 0.32 and just put this bottle of um, ale wort, this bar bucket of ale wort in into here and it will actually start to brew that and we'll get rid of the point one which we'll is craft it as it says so where was the three point well that's three point two just in case i get even a bit more rubbish and you see it goes out like that by the way the same is true for liquid barrels as well i didn't show you this in the last episode let's pick up this one see it's got water in it at the moment i can also empty it out by simply crafting this well actually i can do it myself can't i, I can self craft this like that and then it becomes an empty barrel which we can then put down here like that now it's empty so those are two ways to clear that out so while these are brewing let's have a look at the carry on with this book so let's go back to beverages so you're out of, we went to ale okay so we've basically got ale so that we haven't got enough quality ale yet in order to do anything sensible so cider applies magic resistance effect which reduces damage taken from magic uh, sources including poison so Let's have a look at some cider. I think I've got some cider in here, which is actually up to quality. So cider will be made from apples, 0.34. No, I haven't. <laughs> and that sapling I planted last time and turned it into an apple sapling from Rustic, which you can then plant as a normal tree. Let's go and plant that somewhere. Actually, it's coming up to night time. So I'm going to probably have to have a, a little snooze in a few seconds. As you see, it becomes just an ordinary sapling from Rustic and it will eventually turn into this type of sapling. Butterflies out of that sapling by the looks of it. Or that tree anyway. So cider, what have we got for cider at the moment? Bottle of apple juice, 0.35. I think a cider's rubbish. Let's just double check what was my highest quality of cider, 0.34. We'll make another we'll make another batch of cider and see if we get a better start. Let it go like that. And when it's finished, it'll come out there and we can take it out from there. Same is true from the ale work, but we can put the bucket back up here. I know we can't, we've got to put a bottle of we. Oh, it's because that'll be ale instead of ale work. In fact, we can make another one of those. Go and get some water. Make another bucket's worth. Oh, 
In fact, I can self-craft that as well, of course. If I press W and I click on these things, it'll actually push them straight into my thing, and I get a second bucket of L word, which we can then put into this. There's no point in putting in it into it now, because if I do that, this what we're making here will go down. If I go back down to zero, we'll probably go down to about half of what it was. So we'll have to wait until that's finished before it becomes effective. So that's that. All right, it's dark, night time. I'll come back in a few seconds when it's daytime. Good. Right. So the next one, let's carry on with this book and see what we're doing. Because as it said, it's going to take 10 minutes. So that's, we've got a way to go before we get the next one. I'll call it beverages. Right, we've done this. So we've been up to cider, haven't we? So an iron wine grants the uh, drink absorption hearts with no time limit up to an extra 10 extra hearts. I've only got five so far. I'm not quite sure what I have to do to get the other five. Mead applies a wither, the wither ward effect, which reduces damage taken by the wither from wither effects. Well, so we actually can end up with wither by drinking rotten wine, by the way, or rock, rotten alcohol. So winebury increases the level of all positive effects up to a level three. So winebury, we actually do have a positive effect at the moment, I think. We should have, yes, we've got absorption. Um, toughness, we should have toughness. We should go up to toughness two if we drink some wine. Let's have a look at that one. So you see I've got toughness here. So, and that's from drinking milk, by the way. <laughs> so that was wild produce, 0.55. Now, 0.55 is good enough to actually, yeah. We've got some better. How's that one? 0 0.59, 0 0.56. Let's drink that one then. And have a look. Now we've got toughness too. And I've inebriated for eight minutes. Brilliant. <laughs> so that's always that's always a risk of this thing. So you get you can get inebriated. It doesn't really affect you in, until level three. So we, maybe I've got to be careful what I drink from now on. I think that was the 0.55 and that was 0.56 I drank, wasn't it? Right. So there you see. So we've actually got toughness too. But it doesn't say anything on the hearts. It just shows you. That we've actually got toughness too, and I think that's got a limit as well. So have a look. Yes, it's already gone. It doesn't last very long, so it's just good for a short fight, as it were. Let's go to the next one. I suppose you can do this by yourself anyway. So iron wine, mead, wild produce, yes. So wine increases the duration of all positive effects up to 10 minutes. So if we get a nice bottle of wine, we'll have it will increase the duration of the positive effects. So I have to drink two things together for that one. And that's the end of the, of the alcoholic beverages. So by now we should have at least ale. Should No, not quite yet. It's got a few minutes to go. I cider was the other one, wasn't it? I don't think I did well. I guess I did this one as well. Now that one's nearly finished. So we're hoping for a quality better than 0 0.06, but it doesn't always happen. So let's have a look, for instance. Um, Sometimes it goes down. In fact, I've sorted these by strength anyway, so maybe we should start throwing them away. <laughs> I think what I could do is put this mead into here, couldn't I? I don't think this stack, so I've put a second one there. And um, ale wood. And ale, I've got 0.3, so that's uh, not good to drink. And mead's gone up to point, yeah, 0 0.54, 0 0.49. So it goes up very slowly. I started this one all the way. As you can see, it's going very slowly up. Sometimes, like this time, it didn't. I think it went to 0.3 and then back to 0.42. So, what have we got in here? I think it was this one's nearest to being done. So, let's have a look now. While I was finishing off, let's go and have a look at uh, elixirs and the recipes for that. Actually, I'm, I don't need to do this today because I've, I'm not going to craft on camera as much as possible anyway. What I'm going to do is to show you the things. So this, I'll break, I'll break this down first of all. I think this is pickaxe. Yes. So let's take the, the hammer. Just having a look around. See if they don't break anything other than these three. Not good. So what this does is an alchemic condenser. I'll show you the recipe for it. So basically, it's one white terracotta. That's a block of clay that's been cooked, and then you you. If you look for the recipe, then you have some white dye. Bone meal is pretty useful. And then you sur surround the uh, eight terracottas around this white dye, and you'll get the white terracotta. So 
that's that recipe the one bucket and five bricks so, so it's fairly cheap the next one along the line is the retort and you need two retorts for the basic um, condenser and that's the same thing so you need one iron and one iron bucket so it's four pieces of iron for that one or four ingots of iron so you need eight ingots plus the ingots for the I think this one had three in ingots in it for the crust before that one again yes yeah, had three so that's 11 ingots of iron plus a bit of clay so it's fairly cheap and what you can do with this let's put this down again what you do is you put it down like that and then you shoot and then you right click these the retorts which I should have somewhere there we are on the sides of this like this and when you right click it on the side it should connect to it like and it looks like that if you get it wrong it doesn't look like that it looks like something else and just break it and put it back in again now in here we then have a user interface we didn't have a user interface before and then we can put things into this so we need some bottles in it to start with we've got have some bottles in there we also need some ingredients now the recipes are here so let's go and and all of these things, or most of these things, raw beef, for example, we can get from the chamomile, will give us instant health. And you've got to cook it. And so let's have a look here. Honeycomb and kokosh will give us regeneration for 45 seconds. So let's go and do that. And that's a very good one for this pack because um, you don't regenerate by yourself. So what do I need? Some chamomile, wasn't it? A chamomile is this clouds buff this one is not actual funny last time as well let's take the little pick and break some so i got five and as i said last time you break one without it without it we got two so you well well worth using the pick or luck on your pick um what else do we need with that one it was i've forgotten already it's on the first page so it's no big deal oh honeycomb okay so we need some honeycomb we got plenty of that in this let's just take out can i take out one i have to take out all of them take a, take them all out so you can then put shift click it in here shift click that in there now we need a bucket of water um unfortunately i've used my l my buckets for some ale water haven't i uh so i'll have to go and get another bucket fat buckets are always useful so i might as well take another one fact I will have iron in here so let's just take three ingots of iron out of here put it down like that and then we have a bucket of uh, bucket let's go and get some water I have some water I think if I'm not mistaken I just kept up yes I've got a permanent supply here so we can just take one of those out and you right click that on there like that and every time you right click it on it fills it up so you've got two buckets of water in there now so it's not working because we haven't got any fuel let's go and get some fuel i should go on that first time shouldn't i we need some coal here's a piece of coal take that one so now we click it in and it should work what have i done wrong <laughs> show recipes Oh, kokosh, and I've used chamomile. Okay, it doesn't matter which order these are in. So let's let's get the kokosh out. The kokosh is here. It's this funny looking spiky one. And it, this time I got six. Let's get in the place and plant one back down again. I'll put the kokosh in. Now it starts to work. And as you can see from the recipe, it it shows it the other way around. So it doesn't matter which way around these things go. So when soon as that's brewed, and it doesn't take it doesn't take very long to brew, we will get a bottle's worth of regen like that. And if you look at this, it's making lots of smoky patterns. Now there is a second one of these which I've also built, so we can actually drink this. Let's drink this. Now, now you see I'm getting regeneration for 42 seconds. I'm still inebriated and I get some toughness. I could actually go and drink some wild bread juice now and that should increase that effect for up to 10 minutes if I can find it in time, that is. It's in here, isn't it? Wild bread juice, 0.55, that'll do. 
Let's have a look now. Oh, it didn't increase it at all. I was hoping to see it increase for 15, but it didn't do it. I don't know whether I've got to take it before or afterwards, for that, for that matter. Thinking about it. I haven't tried that bit. So that's how that works. So let that get on. It'll make, it should make about a six, actually. It depends how much water it's using up each time. I'll use this 250 for each bottle. So I just ran out of coal. So it made four for one piece of coal. The other one I've got is the advanced alchemy condenser, which is this setup. And the only difference between that and this is it, it, you need three of these retorts. Uh, and the recipe is slightly different. But then actually, the recipe is surprisingly not complicated. So let's have a look at that on this one in here. So we've got the alchemic, advanced alchemic retort and the advanced alchemic condenser. The recipe for this, instead of having bricks, we've got uh, nether bricks. So that's five nether bricks, five pieces of nether and one block of iron, which is nine plus three, which is 12 pieces of iron for that. It's not desperately expensive. The retorts, huh. yes, I didn't look at that, did I? Let's look at the retorts. So it's again, it's the same thing. So it's four pieces of iron plus two uh, nether bricks. So that's three of these. So you need six nether bricks, 12 pieces of iron. So it's 24 pieces of iron plus what, however many nether bricks that was. And then you, that'll make one of these. Now these are good because they have more recipes. Now what I'm actually was doing here was to make um, elixir of uh, fire resistance. Let's go and do that. I just need a brick because it happens. Now it is night time again, so I'm going to have a quick sleep. Let's just get a couple of bricks out of here. While it's brewing, so we'll just put it in and let it brew. And then we'll have a look at this device as well. And you'll notice you've got three, four slots to put the stuff in as opposed to three from the other one. So that's cooking. So I'll see you in a minute when it's daytime. Right, it's still working away. Now we've got an elixir of fire resistance for eight minutes. So if we have a look at the recipes for this, they're the similar recipes for the simple one and the advanced one, but the advanced one can make all the recipes from the simple one plus the longer ones. So this one here is marshmallow root with meat and chamomile. Instead of giving us a, this was regen, wasn't it? First one, which is this, which is this one here, will give us a, a regen two. To instant health too, and the same is true for oh, excellent regeneration. We'll get uh, one and a half minutes as opposed to what was the previous one, forty-five seconds. So that doubles that one. And if I carry on, look at sorry, if I look over this page here, the second page, if we add marshmallow root to it, an item, it will give us regen two, regeneration two. So you see the recipes are with this one are, are much better, and it lasts twenty-two seconds. And it's a t the case with the so the horse tail will always increase the time by about eight minutes, and and the marshmallow root will increase the level. So you basically go through this one. So that would be wither two. I'm not sure how you use wither two or wither for that matter. It's something I don't think I need to take. Unless you'd need to be able to splash it onto onto different and onto different things, I suppose. But don't ask me how we're going to use it. Anyway, that's that one done. So by now we should have brews. So this was 0.42 bottle of cider. Let's go and compare that to what I've already got. So cider's with the apples. So 0.34, so I got a much better brew this time and it won't take so long in order to get that above 0.5. In fact, what we'll do, and I'll, I'll take that one. I'll take this one with me because we're going to drink this before we go just to show you the really negative effects of things. So wild bread juice we, we did, so this is 0 0.59. So that, that's a good example of it going down in quality. And the other one was ale, wasn't it? So we've got 0 0.06. So that's a really rotten, a really rotten ale. We had 0 0.32 before. So to obviously, I, we've got to throw these two away and maybe start again. Whatever I'm going to do, I'm not quite sure yet. Well, at least well, I shall work on getting these up to level one as much as possible. I was lucky with the, the iron wine because that's still quant quality of one. And you leave it in here and then anything that gets made is based on that. So you've got a chance of it going up or down. 
So that's it for both potions and elixirs. As you can see, they're very powerful early game mechanics for making some good stuff. Now, I do have something in here that I didn't do last time. I did make these clay walls, but I didn't show you anything about them. So let's, this one's the interesting one here, the diagonal one. Let me move this out of the way. Like that. Now, when you put one of these down, you don't have a... Let's get it in my hand here. You see, it doesn't give me just a block. You just put a block in it. Same with this one here, it's just a block. You can't do anything with it. But when you have this one, you get a cross. And then what happens here is if I want the pattern to go from the diagonal, so when the, side, the side I click is the side where the diagonal will be the top, or the top point of the diagonal. So if I want the top to go slanting from the front here to the back, I press it like that. And you see that's what it does. The same is true if you want to do it this way. So I want to go from upwards up here. So for example, I want to make a pattern that goes like this. I click it on there, like that. And of course I want to do it the other way. I go like that. And then I put the one in the middle like this. And then I can put some blank pieces in the sides. And then I want to put it down. So I want to get this one down. Now it's obviously a bit difficult, but we can just put a block, block underneath here. Um, so I want this one to go down now. So I want it to be from here to here. No, I want it that way. Oops, missed. No, I didn't. That's right. Oh, no, it's got the wrong way. I thought I was getting confused. Let's get rid of that one. Try that again. So the diagonal wants to be up to this side. Okay. So this is the side where I want the top of the diagonal. So there you go. So that really is just simple as that. You don't need to think about it too hard. So you can put one of those, one of those. And then you can even jump up and do it. So I want basically, oops, missed. Let's go, just get that one. Try that again. Get in the middle this time. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And that should have done it. And there we have a pattern. Just like that. So it's sort of quite good, isn't it? So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something. Next time, I'm going to be doing some bees. Um, I really want to show you the, the basics of bees. You probably already know it, but just in case you don't, it's well worth seeing, and I'll show you why straight away. Before we actually go away, I have got up to level um, Imperial Bees. Oops, I have to jump off this thing. It gives me a bit of trouble when I get on those things. So here we have Imperial Bees, as you can see. And they're all pristine, and they're running through nicely. And when I'm here, I'm getting regen, because these bees have got a property called Beautify. So they're well worth getting. You just have to stand here, and every once in a while, you get some regen again for four seconds. It doesn't matter that much. It's enough to do the rest. And in this one here, I've got some imperial, industrial bees, sorry. So I'll have a look at those and how I got those next time. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye for now.